Yo, my man. Yo. Did you bring the stuff? Chill, 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 bro. I got you, man. I got the stuff right here, bro. You good? You, uh, you got my payment? Um, yeah, yeah. I got your payment, bro. Boom. Right here. Boom. I got him right here, bro. I got your payment. Where's, uh, where's my stuff at, bro? You, you got that? Oh, bro, I got it. It's, it's right here, man. I got you. Right here. Same time, though, bro. Same time. Yeah, same time, bro. Same time. All right, here. Here. Ha! I'm the real winner. welcome back i swear this is going to be like one of the last shop videos we're going to have some action videos i promise y'all where we do some bashing and stuff that body looking good it looks a lot better than that one see what you got first attempt right first attempt and there's the second attempt which we're not 100 percent done with it in the back we're going to install two of these little nitrous bottles so they'll like sit like that it's going to look dope when we're done but anyway this thing i know you guys have seen them before on amazon and anywhere tower hobbies anywhere that sells rc stuff um this is their one tenth scale tire rack here i'm going to put a picture of it what it's supposed to look like what it's supposed to look like um, when it's done I know you guys seen these before they're not very much money they're like 15 bucks for them but uh, I thought that I would put that together real quick made out of aluminum nice <laughs> So there it is, built, done, it's a little small I thought, I don't know, here is a 10th scale tire, yeah it does do a nice job, okay here are some 1 tenth scale grasshopper buggy tires, okay, so let's see how those sit. Oh yeah, those does sit nice. What about underneath here? Oh, wait a minute. How? Oh, you see, I messed up. There are two marks up here to raise the bar up higher. So that way you can fit this tire underneath. Okay, so that's my mistake. I didn't make it tall enough to fit the tire underneath it. All right, well, you kind of get the idea still, you know. It does look cool, like if you were just kind of like sitting that on your shop, that would look cool. All right, 
And then you're probably wondering, well, what about uh, an eight scale buggy tire? Will it hold an eight scale buggy tire? Here's an eight scale buggy tire. Mm, I guess just maybe on the top it could like that. It doesn't hold it well. Maybe it's just the pattern, the groove pattern in this tire. I mean, I can get it to hold that way, but obviously, but no, not really. It's definitely made for one tenth scale, and it looks awesome like that. Uh, sorry, guys, this was all shot on my cell phone again. My GoPro battery, um, it's it says it's charged, and it takes hours to charge, and then it lasts for about five minutes. So I have to buy a new um, battery for the camera. So until then, which I already did, that will be in the mail in um, the next couple days, we'll be filming with the phone. So bear with me. So if you're all about theatrical, what do you think? I think it looks pretty cool. Awesome. Okay, now on to the other half of the video. Grasshopper, dude. Tamaya grasshopper I have been buying I've been buying upgraded parts for this thing left and right and the single most hardest part to find on the grasshopper are these side rails the I can find them in plastic but I couldn't find them in aluminum well I just so happened to pop on eBay one day and I found a guy that had a pair of these for sale and they're not painted or nothing which is fine I can paint them if I want to but they are aluminum and that's what I wanted uh, and I couldn't believe that that I actually found these and he didn't want a lot of money for them either he wanted like 20 bucks or uh, 40 bucks for them so upgrades 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 you gotta have upgrades for this sucker this is damn near I every upgrade you can get for the Tamiya Grasshopper. I'm just waiting on like one more thing. Check this out. If you don't have a Tamiya Grasshopper, you're like this probably won't mean nothing to you. But if you do have a Grasshopper, you'll appreciate all this stuff. Check this out. These are aluminum front arms for the Grasshopper by JaysRider.com. Right? These are sweet. All right can't go wrong with that and then this is the front arm brace man this is what holds the whole front end together normally this piece is plastic it is now aluminum look at that for the grasshopper hornet there you go focus there's the part number for it and it's from fast tracks fast tracks rc.com cool right all right, moving on, moving on. Oh, aluminum. These are basically front spindles. Uh, the front spindles on the stock one are all plastic and cheap. So an aluminum upgrade is nice. And these were only like 12 bucks for these. I'm really surprised on how cheap um, aluminum parts for RC cars have gone down. All right, so these is very important. Now, a typical like wheel to an RC car goes through that hex nut and then you put a nut on it and tighten it on to the car right well with the grasshopper it works a little bit differently these things see look that's where your drive pin would go and then this would slide onto the axle and then your wheel which you would need a special wheel that locks in on that and I'm not sure if these would fit because I got the adapter kit for these. But anyway, this is for the stock, right? For the very stock version of the truck. And then those little blue things is our servo mounts. That's what actually holds the servo in place are those two little blue aluminum pieces, but usually they're plastic. But anyway, um, normally all this crap is plastic in the car. Well. I got it all aluminum. That's just in case I want to run originalness to it. Now, speaking of that, here's the adapter kit for the Grasshopper. 
it allows you to get off of this system see this proprietary system it only lets you run one type of wheel because only one type of wheel fits in that locking groove so you need an adapter kit uh, basically allows you to go to the standard hex style adaptation that everybody uses and this is a full kit comes with the pins and everything you need is for the front and for the back it's a 12 millimeter hex lock hub for the Tamiya Grasshopper that's pretty cool and then shocks unfortunately the shocks that I ordered I didn't pay attention when I ordered them so I got these instead of the blue ones that I wanted but these are basically a duplicate of the original shocks that come in the Grasshopper but they're all aluminum instead of being all plastic it's a very unique design, um, especially that front shock right there. That's way different. That one right there looks like a normal shock, except for even on a one-tenth scale level, this is still a very tiny shock. I mean, it's my, my finger is bigger than that shock almost, you know what I mean? So, it's a small shock comparison to tenth scale. Uh, I bought all this stuff like from China and it took forever to get this stuff here this is very important this is a locking collar sway bar kit and it also acts um, for your for your shocks your shocks mount on the back of this instead of on this cheap little cheesy plastic frame that the car has you can put this aluminum kit on there and it's nice to my grasshopper stadium was it stabilizer rod set yeah anyway I'm really excited about building this car it's going to be a lot of fun um, I know this is kind of niche meaning that you know not everybody has a Tamiya grasshopper laying around but that's okay I'm gonna share it in all the Tamiya groups on Facebook and hopefully someone will appreciate it stuff to do I really like that one tenth scale rack and all of this stuff it looks amazing i appreciate you guys thank you seriously thank you check out some of my other videos share me i need you no i'm just saying it's me so, uh, I'll have Alrighty, thank you, Chris. Yeah, bye bye. I'm gonna lose Opera again in a minute.